It's good to be here, and it's good to be able to speak about democracy in the Bahamas, what we have, what we don't have, what's lacking, and what is needed. Um, we have an election coming up in a matter of, uh, how long, God? 18 months? In 18 months, we'll be going back to the polls. And we'll be going to the polls to vote. To vote, that's the big one. Um, I would like for everyone to know that we, I will be discussing two different types of voting. Traceable voting and untraceable voting. The traceable voting allows the government or anyone who has access to your ballot to know exactly who you voted for. The untraceable ballot, this allows that. Now let's deal with a little bit of history. Uh, the first country in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas to use untraceable vote not in the Bahamas, in the Commonwealth, the British Commonwealth on, on the whole, the first country to use untraceable ballot voting was Australia. Isn't that ironic? Yes. Mm. The colony where they sent all the prisoners. Oh, <laughs> colony in Australia. Okay? Yes. Where they supposed to be, uh, England supposed to be sending all the bad people. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who came up with a fair way to vote. Now, why they did this? Why did they decide? Because remember now, when they went there, they went there with the entire British system in tow. So everything what they were doing in England, they went there doing in Australia. But over the years, a gentleman, John Rigworth, he saw how that wasn't working for the populace because what was happening is when they have an election, you would have the merchants or the uh, more affluent they would go around and they would purchase votes. Wow. Yes. Okay? They would go, you know, in all the different settlements and they would pay people to vote for them. Now, how could this work? The only way that could work, the only way you could purchase a vote is if you, the purchaser, could be assured that you receive what you purchase. Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So, in a voting situation, how do you know that you received what you paid for? It's a question, general question. By the list. By the ballot. By the ballot. So you need to go back into the ballot. Right. And I, I hey, um, Miss Allen took my four shillings. Make sure you're on this list. Right? Yes. So <laughs> not on the list, I go right. and I look at Mr. Allen's ballot. Exactly. I have yes. access exactly. to his ballot. Exactly. To see if he voted for and me. I can see if he voted for me exactly. or not. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. And that is what the traceable, one of the things that the traceable ballot is all about. But before we go any further, um, you know, because I want to share the floor, I also want to say this. We do have untraceable voting in the Bahamas right now. And it's been here forever. But guess what? It's not for you, me, and the mm. common folks. That is a privilege that every prime minister in this country use, have or had, every politician in the Bahamas had or have, and every voting delegate for every political party in this country have that privilege. And the public will have it. But the general public does not have that privilege. Wow. That is ridiculous. Yeah, that is, okay? That is serious yes. stuff. This, this is what makes it so serious. Very serious. Every union in this country, when they vote for leadership and all this type of stuff, every political party, they vote using untraceable ballots. Wow. For and, the public, and the general public doesn't have and that. They, and, and they... They've, they've been fighting me for two decades. Yes. For two decades, tooth and nail. I mean, the, but when I get with you, really you'll get the story, you'll say, hey, this guy talking some Hollywood stuff. Wow. They've been fighting me tooth and nail for two decades from trying to prevent me from getting for us 
the same privilege and the same protections the traceable, the, uh, the untraceable ballot offers that they bask in, that they use all the time, and they don't want us to have that. You know, can I tell you something? Yes, ma'am. Let me, let me tell you something, okay? I sat with Kendall Isaacs in Long Island, donkey years ago, 